Niagara police have identified the two women who were killed in Fort Erie this Tuesday. Jason Guidola joins us live with the very latest. What can you tell us, Jason? Taz, Niagara police say that the bodies found were a 20-year-old from Windsor and an 18-year-old from Toronto. The two women found dead at this home off the Niagara River have been identified by Niagara Regional Police. 20-year-old Juliana Panunzio of Windsor and 18-year-old Christina Crooks of Toronto. This Facebook page with the same name of one of the girls shows a profile of a Windsor woman who attended St. Clair College. And this Twitter page also shows a Juliana Panunzio also from Windsor. One of her followers tweeted out this today saying, I pray that my friend gets the justice she deserves. No one deserves to be killed at 20 years old. Hashtag justice for Juliana. Investigators say it was Monday night when a group of people, including the two victims, went to the property on Niagara Parkway between Black Creek Road and Switch Road. During the gathering, shots were fired and everyone fled. Today is the third day. Investigators are seen canvassing the home and even deployed a water rescue team to search the river for evidence yesterday. Today, police even released these photos of this unidentified food order containing a cheeseburger, fries, wings, and ketchup packets saying sunspun. The bag also had the number 923 written on it. Something that detectives are looking for information to the public in terms of identifying the, the restaurant as well as who would have ordered the food. The house has been found on sites like Airbnb as an eight bedroom rental, but has since been taken down. Police say they're not sure how many people were at the home, if the incident was targeted, or if any potential suspects have been identified. Niagara police say that the gathering included many people who are not from the region. They say they're trying to track down everyone who was at the home that night before and even after the incident. They're asking anyone with video surveillance to contact them.